everyone. Welcome to Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. My name is Ani, and today, this morning, I'm going to bring you a demonstration on how I season my salmon. Of course, the cooking instructions will be included. If I'm not cooking this until Saturday morning to the Feast of Tabernacles dinner. But right here, I'm going to give you the full instructions on how I season my salmon and the baking or the grilling or the broiling instructions. All right, so we have here about three pounds of salmon. See how pretty that is? And it is vacuum packed. I got this from Wild Fork Foods. Let me tell you about them. You find them online. You order online and uh, they have the best quality meats or products I should say food products meat products um, that is so reasonably priced really is great high quality not great quality high quality foods okay and meat so check them out wild forks okay dot com and um, I think anything over $50 is uh, free delivery or free shipping. So check them out for sure. They're ideal on meats. I love them on meats. That's, a, that's my go-to. We're going to go ahead and do uh, like a honey garlic type of salmon today. So, uh, if you don't like honey garlic or anything sweet, or you don't like your salmon on the sweet sour side, well, this recipe probably won't be for you, but, um, maybe on an occasion where you want to get all fancy about it, or, you know, you have guests who love honey garlic or your family does, uh, love sweet and sour, or anything honey garlicky, then, you know, you can go ahead and have that recipe pinned and ready and available you know to make so let's go ahead and go over the ingredients okay now i ran out of oranges but so we're just going to use apples and i'll i'll get oranges on my grocery today so i'll slice them up and i'll probably put them in there since i'm not broiling this till saturday so keep that in mind add slice oranges okay so we're gonna need two lemons two to three lemons depending on how much salmon you have or how much lemon you like okay, two apples we're gonna need everything bagel that's one of my added okay we're gonna need soy sauce I've got olive oil, and this soy sauce is less sodium is what it says. And you try to go for the best you can. Here's some brown sugar. We have minced garlic. You can do the dry also, um, but it has to be minced. It can't be pressed because you want little pieces of garlic uh, showing. You don't want it blended in. Um, then we have some honey. I'm going to add some agave in the raw uh, nectar. And I have another bottle just in case I need more. And then some mustard. Usually Dijon is the best, but I like yellow. Okay. Uh, you can add uh, pepper if you want. As you notice, there's no salt in this because salmon is salty. It's a fish, right? So, uh, black pepper is fine. I'm going to get mine out right here. Okay. Black peppercorn. And then you're going to need a stick of butter melted. Okay. And here's what we're going to do. This is really simple, y'all. Now, in this sheet pan that I have over here, let me line you up a little better. There we go. In this sheet pan, Okay, we're going to line up our apples and our lemons. Let me go ahead and wipe this off. I love this pan. This pan 
<clears throat> has is very has many many years on it, and it is one of the best sheet pans that I have. I like cooking directly on it, and usually I do my fish or. Uh, yeah, I usually fish, or if I do anything like uh, asparagus, any kind of vegetables and stuff, uh, I usually line it. But for the actual fish and salmon and stuff like that, yeah, just right on there. Grilled right on there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and slice our apples. And our lemons, I'm going to wash them up. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our knife. Start slicing. You want to lay the apple on its side, okay? Because you want circular pieces. Just like so. Okay, use the entire apple. And just place them. You take the seeds out if you want to. I'll just leave them in. Okay. They're easy to come out. Look at that pretty little star in there. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Silly me. Okay. Make sure the seeds are off. They are. All right. That's fine. So you lay your apple straight down and then just be very careful because you got to hold that apple tight because it's not uh, really that well balanced and you don't want it to slip and then you cut yourself, your finger, so you be very careful at noon this. Okay. Okay. So two apples are down. stuff out of there from the seeds okay okay and we're just gonna lay these look how pretty that is they're pretty get the seeds out I love that <laughs> I don't know why I do I'm so silly I do I do I do Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Little star. It's amazing. God's design and everything is just amazing. Alright, so let's take these two out because it's got the, uh, oh, not this one, this one. Even though I can make a hole, but I got plenty here, as you can see. So now for the lemons, I want to definitely cut the end off, the tips off. Well, that one's fine. But that little nipple, yeah, I'm cut that off. Okay, different knife. Need serrated. Right 
Soft skin needs serrated. A serrated knife. See with the edges like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're going to lay these down. So we've got our lemons and we have our apples. Now we're going to cut open our salmon and put these on. Now, after I season this, I will be slicing them before I grill it because it's easier to season the salmon while it's whole. Okay. Instead of you know, so many different pieces. There we go. All right. Pull this out. gloves. I'll take off my gloves because I don't want to handle all these bottles with salmon liquid. Okay. Get that up there. So, back to the boot tool. Okay. We're going to put in Tablespoon of garlic. One, two, three tablespoons of honey. Yum. Okay. We got our agave. And this is, let me measure it out for you all. One. Two. And about the same for the agave. Three tablespoons. So I will need this one. Okay. That's that. I got some pepper. You could put heat to this. And I think I will do that. You can put a bit of cayenne. I'm going to put in some of this Cuban flakes, hot flakes. Okay. 
Put in what you like. Okay. Tablespoon of mustard. Let's shake this up. Okay. Tablespoon of mustard is in there. quarter cup brown sugar Two tablespoons of olive oil. One, two, three tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay. If you wanted to add Worcestershire sauce to this, you could. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of white wine to this. About a tablespoon. Okay, and then we want to mix, mix, mix. You can add cinnamon. I'm going to add some ginger. A teaspoon. And I'm going to add some cardamom. Ground cardamom. About a teaspoon. Got a smoked paprika. I think I'm gonna add some Spanish paprika just to spice things up some. Okay, about a teaspoon. Where's my cayenne? Here it is. Little touch of cayenne. Not much, just a sprinkle. That's good, but I think it needs more honey. Alright. So, four tablespoons of honey. Alright. Mix that in there really well. Very, very good. Oh my God, it's delicious. That 
extra tablespoon of honey. Did it. All right. There we go. So now we're going to go ahead and pour this delicious syrup. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, my. Look at that beautifulness. Everything gets coated. Okay. Oh yeah. Yum delicious, scrumptious. So that's it for this. Other than the everything bagel. And there you have it. And that is how I season my salmon. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Let me bring this over here. So you can probably see it better. Oh my. Look at that yumminess. The salmon has been seasoned. This is great. Let me go and take a pic. Alright. Well, until this gets cooked, until Feast the Tab, give me a thumbs up if you've liked this video. Go ahead and subscribe. There's plenty more to come. And... Hit that notification bell. Turn it on. Ding, ding. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new recipe. All right, which is coming up next. So take care of yourself and one another. In the meantime, God bless you all. Bye. Now this salmon will broil, okay, on high for 10 minutes in the center rack. Then you take it out, you baste it, and you put it back in for an additional five. And that should get you your desired taste. Okay, it should give you the tenderness. It wouldn't be dried out. It'll be well cooked, okay, and delicious. So remember, broil on high, center oven for 10 minutes. Take it out, baste it, put it back in for additional five. Ta-da! You're done. Okay, the donuts are baked, and I punctured a hole in there. It just needs to be filled now with some jelly, and I'll do that the day of. So it'd be nice and fresh. So there are those. Let me see. Where, which one looks better? Uh, with the shadow or without? <laughs> And there you have it.